Good day to everybody. Okay? So, welcome to another new lesson in Earth and Life Science. So, for today's lesson, we will be talking about the four subsystems of the Earth. So, the four subsystems of the Earth. Okay? So, as we all know, the planet Earth Planet Earth natin ay actually is divided into four subsystems. So, pwede natin ma-divide ang ating Planet Earth sa apat na subsystems. So, nung una, meron tayong tinatawag na Hydrosphere. Hydrosphere, geosphere. Then, third one is what we call the uh, hydrosphere, geosphere, uh, atmosphere. Okay. Then the fourth subsystem is what we call the biosphere. Okay. Let's see what's the difference between these three subsystems, or what can we find in these three subsystems of the Earth? Okay. So let's start with hydrosphere. When we say hydrosphere, ito yung portion of the earth na merong water. Okay. So, yan yung portion of the earth na merong water. Okay. So, when we say naman geosphere, ito yung portion of the earth na where we can find land. Or solid. Solid part. Solid part of the Earth. Ngayon, dito naman sa atmosphere, dito naman yung part of the Earth na meron tayong makikitang mga gases. Okay? Then, sa biosphere, this is the part of the Earth where we can find life forms. Okay, so ayan, meron tayong apat na subsystems. First, yung hydrosphere. Then we have the geosphere, biosphere, and atmosphere. Okay, so sa hydrosphere, ito yung part ng earth natin na merong water. Okay, then sa geosphere, ito yung part ng ating planet earth na merong land. Okay or solid part of the planet. Then, sa biosphere, this is the part of the Earth where we can find life, life forms. Okay? Then, atmosphere naman, this is the part of the Earth where we can find gases. Okay, it is important also to remember the root word here. So, dito sa hydrosphere, ang root word dito is hydro. Okay? Hydro means, di ba, water? Okay? Then, ito naman si geosphere, ang root word is geo. Geo means earth. Diba? Sa biosphere naman, ang root word is bio. Bio means life. Okay, dito sa atmosphere, uh, uh, atmos, parang ganun. So, the first two gases. Okay. Now, Punta natin ito isa-isa. Isa-isahin natin ito. So, pag sinabi natin uh, water, 
Okay. Ano ba yung nire-refer dito ang water portion of the earth? So, pag sinabi natin water portion of the earth, we are referring to the, so basically yung oceans. Or ito yung mga tinatawag natin salt water. Ocean seas. Yeah. Then, yung uh, water portion ng dirt, meron din yung mga fresh water. So, ano-ano yung mga fresh water na yan? Di ba yan yung mga lakes? Rivers? Mga waterfalls? But, uh, basically, mostly, a big part of the Earth is covered with ocean. Almost 70%. Almost 70% of the planet is covered with water, basically with ocean. That's why, the planet Earth natin is usually called the, tinatawag yan, the blue planet. The blue planet. Why the blue planet? Because you take a look at the picture of the planet Earth. Okay. So usually, the mga nakapuwan nila ng picture, ng mga nagtatrabel outer space at far from the Earth. Kulay blue yung Earth, di ba? Because of yung presence of water. Okay. Kaya usually yung tawag sa Earth natin ay the blue planet. Okay. So yun. And, ano bang kahalagahan ng water sa atin? Di ba? So, water is an important component of life. Kaya may buhay sa planeta namin because of water. Important component of life, yung water. Then, we go to geosphere. Okay. So, when we say geosphere, we refer to the solid part of the earth. So, pwede natin. Pwede rin natin sabihin dito. Ito yung... Uh, part of yung layers of the earth. Meron tayong core, crust. Yeah. So, meron tayo dito yung crust, mountain, and core. Okay? Crust, mountain, and core. So, basically, yung na-refer yung J-screen natin, yung solid part of the earth. So, actually, we're referring to the yung layers of the earth yung crust, mountain, and core okay. so ito hindi natin i-discuss to dahil alam ko uh, na-discuss na nyo no? maraming beses ito eh during earth science okay. then we go to atmosphere okay. so when you say atmosphere ito yung mga gases so ano ba yung mga gases sa ating planet okay. so ang pinaka usual yung pres ang gases na present sa ating planet ay yung mga nitrogen Okay. Carbon dioxide. Meron ang nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide. And mostly ang mostly ang uh, gases. The majority of gases present in our planet Earth is nitrogen. Okay. Pero since nitrogen din naman yan nakakalason, okay lang. Uh, planet natin, okay? And basically, ang kailangan natin dito talaga yung oxygen and carbon dioxide para sa photosynthesis and for our respiration. So these are majority of the gases present on Earth. But, ang pinakamarami talagang gases itong nitrogen. Yung pinakamarami. So atmosphere. So, pwede natin sabihin ng atmosphere ay yung gases surrounding the planet Earth. Okay? Then, muna tayo sa biosphere. So, when we say biosphere naman, ito yung part ng planet Earth natin na mayroong mga life forms. So, makikita naman natin, di ba? Hindi lang 
Pwede present yan sa mga uh, solid part of the earth, pwede din sa water. Kasi sa, dito sa geosphere, uh, yung mga, halimbawa, yung mga forest, mga mountains, na may mga animals. Tarun tayo, dito tayo nakatira sa solid part of the earth. Okay. Uh, so, itong biosphere, it can be present, pwede sa land at water. So, when we say land, marami na yan. Pwede sa bundok, pwede sa forest. Ibig nga sa desert, may life forms din. Then, sa water. When we say water, pwede rin sa ocean, pwede rin sa mga uh, fresh water, sa mga lakes. So, alam na natin mga, alam ako, mga isda. So, may mga, mayroong mga isdang tawag natin, isdang tabang, mayroong isdang uh, alag, okay? So, fishes that can live in salt water and fishes that can live in fresh water. So, ayan. So, ayan. Itong ating uh, major lesson for today, itong tinatawag natin four subsystems of the earth. Okay? So, actually, part one lang ito. Ang part two natin, paano ba? Ang part two natin, paano ba nag, yung tinatawag natin matter and energy? Paano ba nag-recycle? Nagsasak, nagkakaroon ng cycle? It's a transfer from hydrosphere to geosphere, biosphere to atmosphere, okay? So, yun ang ating part 2 part ng lesson. Ha? So, for part 1, ito, nagkaroon tayo ng understanding about the four subsystems of the earth. So, meron tayong hydrosphere, geosphere, biosphere, and atmosphere. So, ulitin natin, when we say hydrosphere, we are referring to the water portion of the earth. And when we say geosphere, ito yung portion of the earth na solid or mga landforms. And when we say biosphere, we are referring to the portion of the earth where we can find life forms. So basically, we can find them in land and also in water. Then, atmosphere naman, ito yung gases that surrounds the planet Earth. So basically, ang majority of the gases that can be found in atmosphere are nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. And other gases, although any other gases, kukunti na lang Okay, so ito yung part 1. 